Hi everyone, so I'm back just doing my second one. This is a bit of a mixture, so this is just... I didn't have any makeup on before, it was due to film, so I thought I might as well just include it. It's literally just my quick everyday. So I'm literally just moisturising with the Superdrug Vitamin E, I think it is, moisture cream. And I'm using the, the Ordinary Serum Foundation, it's literally £5 off Beauty Buy. I just use it with a buff and brush from Peaches and Cream. It's literally just to even out my, my skin tone, because I've got tan on, so... I don't really like full coverage. Just using the NYX can't stop going to stop and seal that. Literally just a tiny bit under my eyes and then just a little spot that I've got. Tiny bit of cream contour, just the bronze up the face. I'm literally just buffing this in really, like loads as much as I can just to make it really really natural because obviously we ain't going anywhere. Then I'm just powdering under my eyes and then just putting some bronzer around just to set that cream contour and concealer. Tiny bit of blush to bring back some life to the face and some colour. to finish and some highlighter to finish the base this is just a Maybelline Master Chrome one it's literally stunning and I'm just brushing through my brows and then I'm just using it um, the Primark eyebrow pencil it's about £2.50 and it's literally my go-to I pick up about four every time I'm in there and I see them because they're so cheap but so good. And then I'm just combing it out as I'm going along. I only want a little flush of colour through them, I don't want anything harsh. So it's actually just combing through, it's just the clear collection brown mascara. I brush through my eyelashes and then throwing some lip liner on. This is the MUA lip liner. And caramel fudge, I think it is. And then Jeffree Star celebrity skin with the lipstick. And then just to finish the lips, I always like a, a glossy, a glossy lip, so peaches to finish. Spritz of the super drug vitamin E moisture and then straight into hair. So, as again, taking the curtains out like I always do. So, this is, I only washed my hair last night, so this is quite fresh hair. So, it, it was noticeably softer, but it's fine. This was literally getting filmed as Fred was all having a nap, so I was having an ear out, and little did I know. In about 15 minutes, he was due to wake up. Literally contemplating. I didn't even know what style I wanted to do at this point, so I thought, what can I do? So I literally just looked down me, <laughs> looked down me Instagram, and was like, I'll do that one. So it's basically going to be a half up, half down, which it isn't really half up because it's only at the top section. It's basically like a little pony at the top, front bits out, and curled with straight ends. So I've just taken a top section, I've brushed, I've basically put my hair back, let on my hair fall naturally, took a section at the top, clipped it away, brought my hair forwards and brushed it through. You'll notice I always brush my hair through as much as possible. There's nothing worse than curling on hair that's like kinky and knotty, it's horrible. So then I'm just adding heat protection. Spray, this is the Schwarzkopf one. I do this throughout my whole hair, I only show it in this clip because I didn't see the point in putting it through the whole thing. And I'm just taking, I prefer to take littler sections because I feel like when you brush them off, they brush out nicer rather than taking sections that are too big. So I literally just wrap it around a couple of times and leave the ends out straight. I'm going to just do this the whole way around to the front.
so I literally just cut the cut the hair for a couple of seconds and then I put it to the back I like personally like my curls quite loose and brushed out and soft so I don't pink curl or anything but if I was to do this on a client I would pink curl just to make sure it was fully fully set to get the longest longevity out of it so I'm just taking the next section down I didn't show you the other side because you just would basically repeat it on the other side and then just start I personally like to start from the back because then it's easier to put the curls back same again curl leave the ends out straight drop into the hand drop into the hand and then just push it to the back until we get to the front section the front sections are kind of a bit different which you'll see in a minute I took a small really thin section just at the root where it's going to be smooth and then a fat comb underneath it so then it just basically creates a little bit nice volume at the root. So I'm just curling away from the face as usual and leaving the ends out straight. Cup the curl and push to the back. Then we're moving on to the top section now, so this is going to be the pony section. So what I'm doing is basically taking the whole section, splitting it into two horizontally, back combing it. I'm not really back combing properly here because obviously it was fresh hair and I didn't really want loads of back comb in it. Um, just back comb right at the root, same with this one, but only back comb the back section, don't back comb the front because this is obviously going to be the smooth section. Gather it all together. And bobble. So I'm taking a tiny little piece of hair, which you see here, and I'm pinning it to the front. So this is going to be used later to wrap around the pony to the, um, so the bobble can't show. So I'm doing the same here, so taking the front, the really thin front section to the front, then back home in the back section, quite a lot actually. Doing that, pushing it over, I didn't really straighten over this, which you should, but my hair was quite straight at the time, so I didn't have to do this. So then I'm wrapping the hair around the bobble, pinning it underneath, and then I'm just going to curl it into two sections. I was going to curl it in one, but it was a tiny bit too thick, and I knew that the curl wasn't be, wouldn't be very nice. And taking the front sections down, same as usual, back home right at the root, curl away from the face, and then you'll see just as I start dressing it. I'll just comb it out fast, so you've got to do it fast. Comb, thicken, fluff, pull, just do whatever you want just to make sure you. The idea of all this is just to basically see how it's quite like thin at the minute. You just once you've brushed it out and it just basically thickens it all out and looks so much better so i'm just brushing all my hair out i've just used like a wet brush but it's just basically a big paddle brush and then you can just literally pull your pull your pony as usual and then just comb it through as normal as i say i do like mine really really brushed out and loose so that's why i've used this 
and because you curled in the same direction all the curls are just going to sit in the same in the same way and then someone decided to wake up here he is he's literally just woken up <laughs> hence the milk mouth and the jammies he was like, oh my god, the lights are so bright. But thank you anyway for watching. Um, if you think of anything else that you want me to film, I can. Bye.